Yeah, it's been absolutely phenomenal. It's amazing to be back home again. Uh, this journey started back in uh, 2020 um, when we did group sail as a squadron for the first time embarking on Queen Elizabeth um, and then to deploy on the 1st of May this year. Um, we've achieved so much over the last seven and a half months as a squadron. Um, from where we started from to where we are today, uh, we're, we're a different unit uh, to the one that deployed uh, back in May. And that's due to everything that we've seen and done and experienced. Uh, we've operated from the uh, Western Mediterranean all the way across to the Pacific. We've um, flown with multiple nations in a variety of exercises. Uh, we've delivered on Opshader from the carrier in the Eastern Mediterranean um, and up Detroit in the Black Sea as well. So the things that the pilots have seen and done, um, they've covered the broad vista of F-35 capabilities and we've proven that capability now around the world, which is phenomenal. Um, and then for the whole squadron uh, have developed throughout that whole process. So immense. I guess the biggest standout moment was achieving op shader from the carrier. The, the fact that we did it we're, without a hiccup, um, long sorties, day and night. Uh, and then I was very proud of the squadron and how they uh, recovered back to the ship without any issues both day and night after extremely long sorties. And to be able to provide support in that way uh, was a real test and, and we came through that without uh, with flying colours so um, that is a stand-up moment but it, it's almost unfair just to single that one moment out because of the variety of things we've seen uh, flying with Russian aircraft in the eastern, Medi eastern Mediterranean flying uh, with the Indian Air Force and Navy uh, was particularly special the opportunity to fly with the Singap Singapore Air Force with their F-16s as we came back through the South China Seas and then to sail through the South China Seas as well both um, outbound and back inbound again uh, given uh, given the tensions that they're to be involved in that uh, was was very special as well the challenge is um, so we, we've done this whole deployment and not again just not just the deployment but the whole work up to the deployment it was surrounded by covid which has affected everybody across the country across the world clearly um, so that that presented challenges as we were preparing to go obviously losing the aircraft towards the end of deployment uh, it, it just demonstrates the challenges of operating from sea in the maritime environment so, um, but the, I was particularly proud again, within 72 hours, we were back flying as a squadron. People picked themselves up um, uh, and got back on with the job again. So if I was to summarize, uh, I'm just immensely proud of the whole squadron across the board. Fantastic, yeah, it's very good. Uh, as soon as we broke cloud, uh, and I knew that we were gonna be able to come back into the circuit and see, see Morham was a fantastic feeling. Uh, and then knowing that all our families and friends are back here waiting for us. So uh, we're all very ready for a great Christmas.